Hello, it's Candace, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review on the Sigma Professional Brushes Complete. I'm just going to do my thoughts and my opinions and on how I think their brushes are from that set. Before I do that, I want to let you guys know that this is just my set. My set may be different, well, it is different from other people's set. So, <laughs> if my set is bad, it doesn't mean... Other people's sets are bad. Or if one brush rips apart, that doesn't mean all brushes like that are horrible. That's just how my set is. So I'm just gonna review each brush separately and tell you guys my thoughts. So if you wanna hear me ramble, just stay tuned. First brush I'm gonna discuss is the Sigma 209. This is a liner brush. I used it like literally a few minutes ago to apply my black liner. It's not as pointed as I would like it to be. It's kind of like flimsy. Like it goes in all directions when I want it to be stiff. Kind of, I mean, I want it to be pointed like the MAC 209. This is the short handled one, but these are the brushes compared. The MAC one is much skinnier and I like the MAC one better. This is the Sigma 252. I really like this brush for applying color all over my lid, you know, for large areas. You can also use it for concealer. Don't have the MAC one to compare it to, but I really like this brush, the Sigma 252. The next brush I'm going to show from Sigma is the 219. I really, really like this brush for applying color underneath my lower lash line. I really would like it to be more tapered, more skinnier, because sometimes it applies way too much color down there, and I like to, I have to go back with a Q-tip and kind of make the line a little bit thinner. But it's a really good brush. You can use it in your crease. You could use it for a number of things. This is just the way I use mine. But I really like this brush. One bad thing about it, it sheds a lot. So beware. The next brush I'm going to show is the Sigma 239. I actually like this 239 way better than the MAC one. It has, it's the perfect shape. It's the perfect size. It's the perfect stiffness and everything. It really packs on color, and I like to pack on color, so this is a really good brush. Um, again, another bad thing about this brush is that it sheds a lot when you wash it, not when you apply in color or anything like that. The next brush I'm going to show is the Sigma 194, and this is a concealer brush. I really like this brush for concealer. It's good enough for concealer, but not for, like, how can I explain this? For blending out, I mean, you could blend it out, but I like a thinner coverage of concealer. I don't like too much of a thick coverage. And I still have to end up blending out with my fingers, but this is a nice brush, the 194. The next brush is this... Sorry. The next brush is the Sigma 275. I love this brush. Oh my gosh. I apply my highlight underneath my brow bone with this brush. Um, It applies... If you don't, if you're not careful, it'll apply too much color. But you can always go in and blend it out with another brush because this isn't the type of brush that you would use to blend. It's just like to apply, I guess. Or for me, it doesn't work for me that way. I don't really like this brush to blend out, but I use it to apply underneath my brow. And um, your colors kind of already have to be blended for this to work because it's not stiff enough to actually go in and remove sharp edges or you know so I like this brush anyway <laughs> I really like this brush one of my favorites from Sigma the next brush I'm gonna show is the Sigma 187 which is kind of um discombobulated because I have not been using it and it's just been thrown in my makeup case needless to say this brush really sucks Okay, when I first washed it, like I always wash my brush before I use them because, you know, that's kind of what you're supposed to do. But the first time I washed it, all the hairs just came out, like all at once. Like I was squeezing the water out, not even that rough, and the whole thing just pulled out. So I had to end up pushing it back in, and I don't use this anyway. I tried to use it, but it sucks. It's way too loose. It's not stiff enough. It sucks. I hate this brush. I mean, I don't know... If other gurus brushes are better than this from I mean the 187 but mine sucks I don't know if it's just mine but I hate this brush this does not compare to the Mac 187 this brush just 
needs to go in the garbage can, in my opinion. Next brush is the Sigma 190. This is a foundation brush, which is also kind of lopsided because I had in my makeup case kind of weird. Actually, my brush belt kind of weird. Um, I don't really wear foundation that much, but when I do, I use a sponge because, again, I like a thin coverage. Um, I don't really like thick coverage of foundation. Um, this is good to apply moisturizer. I don't think it's stiff enough, quite stiff enough to apply foundation, especially if you want a thicker coverage. But for moisturizer, it works pretty well. I've used it on a couple of clients, and I like it for that, but not quite for foundation. The next brush is the Sigma 150, which is a huge powder brush. Again, I don't wear powder, so I can't really tell you how that works. But to apply translucent powder underneath your eyes, like to catch fallout, I think that would be really good. And to just dust loose powder all over your face. If you're trying to concentrate, like, for bronzing or something, I think it's too large for that. But, um, you know, just to dust all over your face, I think it would be a good brush. Again, I have not used this brush um, much, so I don't know how it is when you wash it. And I'm not about to guess, so in my opinion, I would check out someone else's review before buying this just for that purpose because I'm not sure about how it does when it washes, and I couldn't tell you, so yeah. The next brush is the Sigma 266, and I really do not like this brush. Um, it's not stiff enough. I mean... Even if you want to apply brow color, it's not stiff enough for that. Not for me. Not stiff enough for me. I mean, it's kind of flimsy. It's compact, but it's very flimsy. I mean, you can't control brow color application with this. It's not stiff enough. And even to apply color, like, in, you know, small spots, look how flimsy that is. That wouldn't work for me at all. I mean, I like the MAC one much better because it's a lot stiffer. I think all brow brushes like this should be stiff. Not stiff enough to poke your eye or scratch you or anything, but stiff enough to actually work for applying color. So I don't like this brush. The second to last brush I'm going to review is the Sigma 224. Um, I particularly like this color like when I'm just starting off with a look or even in the middle of a look to apply color in the crease. And I don't want it to be precise. I just want it to be you know, like a wash of color there. I like this brush for that purpose. When you wash it, it does shed. So, well, all the brushes I have shed. Not a ridiculous amount of hair everywhere, but they do shed when you wash them. They don't shed when you apply color. Not mine. Not my set, at least. But, like I said, I like this to apply color in the crease when I don't want much precision. Um, just, and it's good to create the airbrush look. Or, but not, like, I don't know. I have no idea what I just said. So I'm just going to move on to the final brush. The last brush I was going to discuss is the Sigma 168. I don't know what that brush is and obviously it must not be that important to me for me not to know where it is. Anyway, I don't like that brush at all. It sheds a lot when you wash it and I thought I was going to use it for contour but it's way too big for that. I mean, it's way too big. I like a skinny brush like this. And this is from Kirkland. It's, it's perfect for a fit in there. I mean, it might not be the, you know, brush, the preferred brush to blend out color, but it sure applies color good. That 168 is way too huge. I mean, you'll get color contour way in here if you use that brush. No joke. It's too big for that. I think it will work good for blush. I have not tried it for blush. Um, I'm not sure how it works for blush. I have not tried that. I need to though, but as of now, I don't like that brush for a contour, but as far as blush goes, I can't speak on that because I have not used it for blush, um, but contour is a fail. So that's my review of the Sigma Makeup Brushes. Overall, they're okay. I mean, for the money, they're okay. I'm not going to say they're awesome. I'm not going to sit up here and lie and say they're awesome. I mean, they have some awesome brushes in the set. For me, my favorite brushes are the 239, the 219, the 275, 252, and the 224. Yeah, so that's like 5 out of 12. 
That, that would be an F if you got a 5 out of 12 on an exam. So if I could choose again, I would only have bought those 5 brushes instead of wasting money on the whole set. Because I do not like the whole set. I only like 5 out of the 12, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's better than not liking any at all, but still. Check out my blog for a more in-depth explanation of what I just said in case I just bored you guys to tears. Please write, comment, and subscribe, and check out my tutorial for this look, which should be coming up in a couple days after this is posted. Thanks for watching.